Hello, everyone. I was looking through my hard drive and I saw this picture. And it kind of made me think about the past. Back then, around this time, I think it was maybe 2005 or early 2006. And I believe around this time as well. I was conceited, hateful, spiteful, lying foe, <laughs> a liar, deceiver, what else, thief, narcissistic perhaps, very prideful, very rude, very, 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 <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, if I can say probably so many more bad things, I was a mess. And I used to drink alcohol. I used to get drunk and I did not really like getting drunk much because I guess with me, I don't know how it is with everyone else. I don't like to be out of control, like as in not really be in full control, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't want to be stumbling and, you know, have something take over to where I can't really, if you know what I mean. So I was not really, I would drink and I would get drunk. But after a while, I believe I stopped wanting to get drunk. You know, I wanted to be in my mind, not out of my mind. In a sense, I fornicated, I committed adultery, maybe more than one time. In fact, I believe it was in 2005 or 2006, I met a woman in the bar, dance, bar, whatever it is called. She gave me her phone number. And when I called, she told me that she is married. And she asked me if that is a problem. Back then, <laughs> maybe it is not funny, I'm sorry. Back then, I did not care if you had a boyfriend. husband, divorced, or if you had many kids. Because back then, if I remember correctly, I didn't really see you as a person, if that makes any sense. Back then, I saw you as like, what can you do for me? if that makes any sense. Like, for, you know, concerning women, like, what can you do for me? Like, I did not really see you so much as, as you may be an individual, that maybe you like arts and crafts and stuff like that. I did not really care about all of that. Like, what can I get out of you? So you may have been married or a boyfriend. And even if you had the ring on back then, I did not really care. Like, what does you being married have anything to do with me? In that sense, that is pretty much how I thought. 
I was so disrespectful. Very. But anyways, back then, I thought that I was having so much fun. I thought that this is the life. I committed adultery, maybe with more than one woman. I treated people wrongly, and let me say this, please listen. If you treat people wrongly, expect to be treated wrongly as well. Please listen. So many bad things happened to me, I think around this time period, and probably before. And if I remember correctly, I think I used to think bad things happening to you is a coincidence. Oh man, I believe we all are going to reap what we sow. Please listen. Look at my life now. Is my life as exciting as back then? No. Do I mess with this female and that female and this female? No. Do I drink Long Island iced teas and all that mess there? No. Stuff. Let me say stuff. I don't. But I can say this. I am much happier. I don't have to fornicate to be happy. I don't have to take a person's wife to be happy. I don't have to see that Asian woman again right there or half Asian, whatever she is, to be happy. I am content with living in Jesus Christ, which I know I can do better. So I am content, but I am striving for perfection. Even though I may not have much of what I used to have, maybe I am living a bit lower, lower than before, but hey, I am happier. I have joy, I have peace. Back then, I don't think I had much peace back then. I am telling you. I think some people think you are not really having fun unless you are sinning. But if you are sinning, aren't you going to reap what you sow? So is sin really fun after you reap? Ah, uh, please listen. Kevin, why are you so encouraged to live for Jesus Christ? I believe one of the reasons I tried living against his rules before. It doesn't work for me. Honestly, I tried. I believe for years. It don't work. Doesn't work. Please believe me. I tried stuff. I tried going against the grain. It doesn't work. Give your life to Jesus Christ now. Why play around? I could have died at this point, right? Thinking that I am all that and God's gift to women, blah, 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 blah. I could have died. I believe I could have died. Then where do you believe I would have went? Probably to hell. And I thank God for his mercy and his grace and his patience. My Lord. Uh. I thank God for his patience because I truly believe I could have died. Oh, 
it is not worth it. Honestly, it is not worth it. I regret many things I did back in my past. I believe I hurt some people and I regret it. Truly regret it. I thought I was having fun, but I was hurting myself so much and some people too. So give your life to Jesus while you still can. Please believe me. Because what you believe is fun, if you believe sin is fun, it is not fun. It is not. Let me stop here. God bless you.